Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Magic of Scheherazade! Hi, I'm Rufal, playing this game for you! Woo! Come on, right, punks! Clear off! Having done all the stuff we need to do in the future, it's time for us to go and challenge the darkness maze. Which, uh, now that we have Pookin in the group, we can actually kind of see what's going on in there? Yeah, we're gonna find it is exceptionally dark in that, in that place. Clear off! The good news is that there is a town found with a hotel on the other side of the darkness maze. So, let us go in. Ah! Spiritcom is worn off. Shame for the future. Winter has returned. But yeah, um... Yeah, there's apparently a very significant dark mist to be found in this place. Regardless, we want to head this way. Because going over to the left is just a dead end. And just to add insult to injury, we need to follow the left side side of this corridor, because if we go along the right side, we're going to find pits. Yeah, it's just like the uh just like the maze in chapter two. However, those pits are specifically found on the right side. Oh punks! Ha-ha! We don't want the middle area where those things are. There's just nothing of relevance in there. Oh! Oh, that's... old news. Take the Cygnus Formation to fight them! Let's do battle! I'll take care of the Blibros, you guys take care of Medusa. Now, if only the troopers could follow these orders. Oh well. Right! Piece of cake! And up here, have we found the exit? No! We found a sword! Then held it, and it roared! We have found the sword of Kashin! Yay! So, in what way is it an improvement over the Dragoon? You may wonder. Well... Among other, among other things, uh, when you're... When you are a fighter, then, uh, the projectile the sword sh the knife that the sword shoots off will go full screen. That's about it. We'll actually get to see more of it next chapter, but, uh, that's gonna have to wait until we get there. 
Flammel 1 has gone up. It's been replaced with Flammel 2. Well, funnily enough, uh, Flammel 2 is a... is an overworld spell. It, in battle, we still use Flammel 1. Hey, Matt Punk. Now we want to retrace our steps back to where, uh... The holes in the ground were to be found. Cygnus will deal with these guys. Get him! Ah, the troopers should survive it, there the attacks. Heck, it might even be unnecessary. Regardless, I will assume it was necessary. Aha! Because what else am I going to do with Coronia's MP? <laughs> Alright! Back into the land with the holes! It's going to have to require a judgment call. Aha! Basically, we wanted to line up with uh, wherever this pathway was, but we didn't have an indicator on the other side. That punks. Want some of this? Aha! Woo! And here's our exit. Yay! The using Oprin here brings us to the magic field where we can plant a Rupia seed. But of course, since the solar eclipse isn't in effect... And of course, going off to claim our harvest would require going through the maze again. Unless, of course, you visit this town over here. Which we definitely need to do. Hello, people! Masora! Hey! Why? I can take him. What do you sell? Ah, keys, hordes, and amulets and carpets. Wow, don't even sell bread and mushrooms. Hmm, there seems to be a definite vibe of pessimism about this place. Mustafa? Why would I want to talk to him? See? Oh, he's the only brave person in town, so maybe he'll actually come and help us. <laughs> Hello, sir! Hundred Rupias? Sold! And yes, by the way, we do need Mustafa in order to defeat Troll. We also need Pukin, so even though you could navigate the... the darkness maze with maze without Pukin, uh, you still wouldn't be able to defeat Troll. Oh, yeah. What, make, what makes their help so... so... useful? Well, we'll see when we get there. The Palace of the Winter Demon is not that far away. Take that! Oh! In fact, it's just over here, so the town had a good reason for their pessimism. Ha! 
Ha <laughs> ha! Thus we see the first ma- the first major thing which Sugen is going to be doing for us. Now be careful with this ice! Whoa! We're kind of mini boss! Don't let him hit ya! Because if his projectiles make contact with you, then it turns it makes your form helpless. And you get one shot in from there. The amulets are supposed to help with that, but whatever. Down to the south is a is a shop if you're in need of bread and mushroom, but where we want to go is north. Oh. Take that, funk. Hmm. Clear off. Ah, going up. Or down. Who knows? Hooray! Nice! Got you again! No, oh, you're someone else! Regardless, pummel! Yeah, it's not a guaranteed change with those projectiles, it's just a possibility. Eclipse has come! Who cares? Poor, we need to do battle with Troll. Because for some reason this intro is at his Troll's lair rather than the start of the palace. Hello, sirs! But first, Pukin is going to make it so we can actually see Troll. And then we need to trade blows. Troll will, will bring down the thunder every time you hit it. Fortunately, the thunder's pretty lame. Back here, you! Gotcha! Now, Mustafa will, will expose the real troll! And slow him down a bit. Take that! Troll's major stick is to shrink you and then try and step on you. Which is an instant kill! But we didn't get to see it, because I clobbered him that quickly. Haha! Yay! And finally, we have a spell to avoid random encounters. I will probably never use it. No matter. Hey there, princess. Which one are you again? Roxanne! I'll... I'll do my bit. Yes, I'm kind of a jerk like that. Yay! I'll pay you when we get there. 
Well, actually, we aren't going to need to pay Dave Mustafa more money. He just threatens it. Nobody likes Supika. Er... Kababu, that's it. <laughs> it's a Sabron's next world! If... Indeed. Brace yourself for more adventure next time! We'll see you then! Later!